to the VBS FBI Detective Office. We are hot on the case. I am Detective Esther, and I'm here with my junior detective, Detective Zacchaeus. Bible mysteries are my specialty. Today is a busy day, but I assure you, it's nothing we can't handle. You know what? You are so right. Uh, who is calling me? This is my neighbor. He never calls me. You know what? I bet he's calling in that favor that I owe him. Mm. Hello? Hey, neighbor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Guess who's going out of town? Me. Uh. <laughs> Aloha. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> anyway, remember that favor you owe me? Uh -huh. Yes, well, I would like to redeem that favor pronto. Uh -oh. I left some workers in charge of some bags of gold. <laughs> Could you keep an eye on what's happening next door? Okay. Clue me in on any fishy activity. Consider it done. Thank you in advance for your help, neighbor. I'll see you when I return. Thank you. Bye. Oh, just like I thought. Your neighbor asked for help, didn't he? You know he did. But what I haven't told you yet is that my neighbor is actually the man from the parable that Jesus told in Matthew 25, verses 14 through 29. Can we all read Matthew 25, verse 15 together? Wait for me to say, read. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Read. And unto one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one, to every man according to his several ability, and straightway took his journey. So, now we know exactly how much gold my neighbor gave to all of his workers. One worker was given five bags of gold, another worker, two bags of gold, and the third worker, one bag of gold. <laughs> now it's time for a good old stick out. You ready? Mm -hmm. Let's go. You see him? Hmm. Now let's take a look at Exhibit A. That first worker is interesting. Interesting. Am I seeing double? Check that for me. Now he started with five bags. Do you see ten? Huh? Yeah. Oh my goodness gracious. And look at and look at Exhibit B, the second worker. He multiplied his bags too and went from two bags to four bags. You are so so right. Now wait a second. Now, Exhibit C, that third worker, he had one bag. What is he doing? Can I see those real quick? Let me see. What, what in tarnations? Oh my goodness. Is he burying the bag of gold? He is actually digging a hole and y'all, he is putting the gold inside of the hole and now he's putting dirt on top of it he has truly buried gold you know i think it is time to clue in my neighbor but first what do you think is the lesson we're supposed to learn from these different workers well i think exhibit a and b the first and second workers i've seen as faithful because they used the gold and put it to good use and multiplied it you know what? That's right. And the third worker, Exhibit C, mm. we will call him, is seen as lazy because he took the gold and just buried it. He didn't put it to use at all. Mm. You know, I've been wondering how I could serve. You know, how I could be useful to others. Mm. Hmm. You know, this story's got me thinking. We all have gold. Mm. Our gold is our special talent, our abilities, our skills, and all of the traits that God has given to all of us. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. God knows everything about us, inside and out. You are one of a kind, and you have a unique combination of gifts according to how you were created. Just like the workers in the parable, our job is to grow the gold. Even if you feel like you only have one thing, it's still gold. Mm. 
you know what you are so right so how do we serve by, by using our gifts case closed <laughs>